All right, hey, what's going on, everybody? Fantasia BM here, back with another video, and today we have another itch.io horror game called Midnight Custody. Um, I know it's a found footage style game, but I don't know much else about it. I know it's another kind of shortish one, but uh, we've been loving playing these. I love playing these. I love watching the videos of me playing these and pretty much anybody else playing these. Uh, it's a lot of fun to make these videos, so hopefully you guys do enjoy, and before you make any comments, Yes, it looks like I wear the same thing for all these videos. I kind of do. It's just my comfort clothing, okay? Just usually a white tee. I have a bunch of white t-shirts, and this sweatshirt's just comfortable, and I like the color of it. So just don't judge me, okay? Let's just get into the game. Okay. I'm unable to fully turn around. I can only look... In a 180 cone. Oh, I can't even move my mouse now. That's kind of unsettling. I don't even know what to say. I'm just kind of waiting to see something at the corner of my eye or something. These games just have a really good way of just being very unsettling. And that's why I love indie devs. They're, they're just goaded. They're goaded. Okay. Alright, do I get to choose which way I go or am I just being guided? Press E to turn the lights off. Well, why would I do that? I hate it. It's a parking garage. Leave leave the lights on. It's fine. And before I keep progressing, if I do this even in the basement of my house, I have to turn off the light and then sprint across the basement in order to feel safe because I just hate the darkness and you know if I don't run to my room from my stairs I'm just gonna get chased by my demons so you kind of just have to make a break for it so I don't know why we're just casually nonchalantly walking back after we just turned off the lights and not even having a flashlight at that like if you had a flashlight I'd understand even so, I'd probably still be sprinting. But we don't have a light. We're just casually strolling. Like it's just another casual, regular Monday. Kind of hate it. <laughs> do, do, do. Editor Matt, can we get some elevator music, please? Never mind. I was too late. Maybe on the next floor. We got some lights flickering. Sure, it's fine. And again, you just, you don't react to that in any form. You just keep on strolling. At this point, I'm convinced we're the killer at this point. Any man just nonchalantly walking in the dark like this and lights just casually going not working mode and still not running, like, we may be the killer. waste no time let's just get back to the elevator i need some comforting elevator music from ele uh, editor matt please it's also just unsettlingly quiet like uncomfortably quiet spoke too soon 
I hate that. <laughs> now I'm just uncomfortable in, in general. <laughs> For those that have headphones in, I could hear it go from the left to the right. I hate that. I, I always hate that. When you can't see it, but you can just hear it like walking behind you side to side. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. See, even that guy was running. Thank you. <laughs> ah, yes, truly blissful. My only peace time. Call me crazy, but there's a man standing there, and it might very well be Slender Man this time. I know I said that in the last itch.io video. Speaking of, if you haven't already, go watch that. Last week's video. It was, it was great. Um, this one might actually be Slender Man. Oh. Okay. Cool. Where'd you go? I miss you so. I just realized the lights are already off. Why are we walking down here? <laughs> what was the point of that? The lights are already off down here. I think that was a bit counterintuitive. That was Slender Man. Can confirm. I didn't really get a good look at him, but I'm pretty certain that was Slender Man. Oh my god, I have like the biggest goosebumps. I, I know I say this every time I play these horror games, but like I I you probably can't even see it, but my hair is standing up so hard right now. These games just have a way of making me so unsettled. It is insane. Like even like triple A horror games don't even like usually get me this bad. There's been a there's been a few like Visage and uh, Blair Witch. Those two, nah, I hate those. Okay, bye. Yeah, that's Slender Man. <laughs> that is Slender Man. But anyways, Slender Man can't hurt me with my elevator music. I think we went too far down. Like, we may be in the depths of hell right now. Far down. Ew, the sounds. Ew. Is that a heart? That is definitely a heart. But why? And whose heart? What is this? See, we are the killer. I knew it. I called it. We are the psychos. <laughs> there, there. It'll be okay. There, there. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah, that's Slender Man. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh good, the blood's gone. And we're back to the parking garage. 
back to our normal lifestyle. Turning off lights and parking garages with the same cars all over every floor and the occasional stabbing of hearts floor whatever that was mm -mm -mm. casual little stroll down the hall this is a this is a very popular floor as far as i can see uh in the parking garage Very, uh, very popular floor to park. Must be closer to the ground floor. Shift to run. Okay. Don't gotta tell me twice. Did we do it? I think that's it. Indie horror games, they don't miss. They they always hit a hit a nice little spot in my heart. Um I love these games. I'm going to keep playing them. As I see ones that pique my interest, I'm definitely going to keep playing them just because like I said, it just has a has a nice place in my heart. Again, if you guys do enjoy these videos and you want to see more indie horror games or any other style of video, please let me know down in the comments and feel free to drop a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. It's free and you can always unsubscribe if you don't like the content anymore. So I appreciate you guys and until next time, stay fun. Peace. Bye-bye.